Hello and welcome. In today's video, we are going to apply to University of Milan. If you haven't watched the previous video about University of Milan, I suggest you watch that video because it tells you the scholarships available in University of Milan and some of the useful tips that will help you in your application. There are information from there that you have to use for your application. So I would suggest if you haven't watched that video, go watch that video first before you start the application and it's it's a very short term video because you need to do prior research before but without wasting much time let's um, dive right into it so i'm going to leave this is how the portal looks like i'm going to leave the link in the description box so the first thing you have to do is if you do not have a car you can register as an external user so we click on this it will open this portal then we have to fill in our details the user um f from here you can see i don't know if they are going to change it into italian for you but it's very important you install the google translate um, extension into your browser so it helps to translate it if it's in another language if you don't know how to do this installation and you need me to i could make a video on how to do the installation so let me know in the comment section so without wasting much time and if you haven't yet subscribed kindly subscribe like share and leave a comment it helps my channel grow so thank you and let's start so choose a username you can it might be at least three characters i'm just going to use ama the password i'm gonna put something so. as you can see if it's good they they tick on it so your first name choose your sex you put in your email You confirm your email. It's very important um, you follow me through the process because sometimes I have comments that I have already responded to. So it's very, very important that you follow the, the same procedure and you should be fine. So country code Ghana. Okay, your date of birth. We want a day, month, year, let's use 2000. Okay, I authorize. Then you sign in country code and phone number. So I don't know, this is gonna. Okay. Okay, so let's sign in. So the username is not available so i have to choose another one that sucks so i'm gonna add this okay we authorize we sign in again Okay, this is good. So this is a summary of data we had. Okay. We have to activate your account in 24 hours. So the verification email will be sent to you where you have to activate your account. So I'm going to add it here. Okay, let's go. So, has already been activated. You can assess your reserved area. So, we click on that. So, your email or your username. I'm going to choose this. User type. It's selected for me. Remember me. So 
so awesome everything has been done if you want to modify anything you can modify so admission and matriculation okay so here it's good because yeah now we can choose english these services are for prospective students graduates of university of milan without valid access login and okay or services so see what we have to do these are the services they provide degree course admission and ranking this is what we want to do there's a first level degree there's a master's degree with free assets there's a restricted assets master's degree in health professional so whichever one that you would be doing so ours was a free assets i talked about this in the previous video and there's also restricted assets so look in the video so you have to just click on this link and your citizenship so let's start the process Ghanaian it's gonna be fast Italian so you choose without Italian task code and you're good it puts in my data because I've I'd already filled it my place of birth Accra select an option Ghana nope Ghana okay let's go next so personal I declare that yeah next foreign nest so now you have to choose the study program it was geophysics so this is a program we chose yeah so there's something here that i think is interesting so let us say the program you want check carefully to the check carefully the enroll section on the website of the program of an applicant submit after the deadline will not be valid so it's very important to check the deadline of your program you want to apply to so we go to next permanent address Ghana Accra 20 address and street number 20 or telephone I don't think these are important so I'm gonna go to next yeah so pay attention your street address the first street address is I think this will be the street number. Let me put the number here. Next. You must complete at least one of those. So I have to do this. So plus two, three, three. Okay. It contains invalid characters. Okay. So I take out the plus. So all these happen. So we have to figure it out. I think it's the space. Let me take out the space okay so that's it we go are you a graduate of final so even if you are not done with school you could still apply so graduate if you're in your final year you could still apply identity document foreign passport the number on it one two three four five issued abroad by Ghana by i'm gonna choose i'm gonna leave this and we'll see on 2020 aspiring reading 2401 2030 so i own a foreign degree so bachelor's three years so four years you choose the course name i'm gonna choose um i chose geophysics so let me use geological engineering Select, click to select university town commerce okay so it's here i choose it okay my grade i'm gonna choose 71 date i'm gonna choose 2020 okay so let's go to next and let's see if we have some errors so we have to choose issued in um by i don't know the okay let me choose by commune consulata maybe i choose let me see what okay next i don't think those ones are quite important candidate so if you have any of these um, 
disability you choose or it's for kind of a disability and SLD so no option but if you have you choose any of them so we have to now start with our documentation so let's start with the document upload so you click on this you choose so these three are the most important one if it's not highlighted if it's not has the asterisk it means you could um, ignore it but you should if you have your language certification so you choose file then you upload so i'm gonna do something let's see i'm gonna go next they will tell me that no i need to attach these documents so i go back i change the name to this and italy is in europe so you always have to use the europa cv you go to my channel and you type europa cv and this is the video just watch on how to prepare an europa cv and use that so we come back here we choose our file then we upload we go same thing for all of them we choose the file easy steps easy process it's, you don't need anybody to do it for you could actually do it yourself the problem is always figuring out how to start so that's why i'm here to help you to get you the documents so i've uploaded this twice so i will delete one so i'm gonna change this to the name to my passport or my id i'll choose the file i'll upload so this is twice i'm just going to delete one of them and i'm going to go to next so this is my application preview it gives all the information that i have submitted so now watch to confirm the application submission Press the key confirm submission in the bottom right corner. So once you confirm, you would have submitted your application and I don't want to submit the application. So I'm going to end here and you will take it from here. So you just click on the confirm and you follow the procedure on what you have to do. But to be sure we've done everything, this is what we are going to do. We are going back to the documents we had before. So this is it. So if you're international, you prepare your files with other documents required. So once you've done it, then the end, the last part you have to do is you pay your admission fee. Then you wait for your qualification evaluation. Once that is done, you enroll. So all the information is here. I hope this video was useful. If you've watched to the end, thank you. And if you have any questions, leave it in the comment section. Kindly like, share this video so that uh, my channel will grow. So to hear from me again, bye.